Okay, let's start working on my little rabbit truck. I've had the uh, cable clutch in there since I did the 1.9 swap on it. And it has just been hard as everything to mash lately. And I've had two, two regular cables break and then S&P sent me this one. It's got the nylon coating on it. There's something that's not aligned on the pedal. I don't know what it is. But while I'm doing this, I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to a hydraulic clutch. Got the kit from s &P. Comes with all the master and slave cylinder, the fittings, and this little special adapter right here that they've got, that they've made to uh, adapt to the clutch pedal. So I'm about to start on this thing. First thing I gotta do is I gotta take this cluster out, take the radio out, take the ashtray out and uh, take all the little screws out to where I can remove all this take this bottom panel out and get where I can get some easier access to the steering column bolts and I'm going to go from there this is my daily driver and I just want it to be I want it to be good let me show you the, the clutch pedal is apparently wore out I don't know I don't know how much of that is normal to have side to side movement so there must be a bushing in there that's wore out or something, which causes the alignment of the cable to be off. I'll have to fix that, I'm sure, before I go back together with it. But I'm going to fix it all while I'm at it. I'm going to convert it over to a hydraulic. I'm going to save the cable in case I want it. I've also got another little truck that I might want to do something with, so I'll save it for it if I don't use it on this one. But just follow along. I'm going to start by taking the instrument cluster out the bottom panel off and go from there and i've also got me one of these flashlight head flashlights for uh, off of a facebook that we've all seen i'm gonna use it and see how good i can use it when i'm up under there trying to work of course i've got this old drop light <laughs> that i've rigged up and i put this led on the bottom of it it works pretty good a lot of light but it's always in the way Okay, I got this seven millimeter on this uh, quarter inch impact. Take these screws out here out first. Uh, this thing is the relay pack for the uh, 1.9 that I put in there. And it got to where it wouldn't start because there's, you know, if this wasn't hanging down, it wouldn't, the relay wouldn't come on. So there's something loose up in here and this will give me an opportunity to tidy all this up and put all this up in there a lot better. snap out of there okay I ordered these new ashtray clips off eBay and they they never will snap out so I have to use my knife to to get it to release this thing I don't know what the wrong what's wrong with that something I ordered that brand new off of eBay and I thought it would work but uh Evidently, there's something that's not lined up about it. All right, so we got this air conditioning tube. It goes in under everything, and I got a, and it attaches to this air vent right here on the driver's side. Now that's very fragile. Got to be very careful pulling that out, and then unhook it from the heater housing right there. Okay, so you reach back up in this hole up in the back side right there and there is that little button right there that you have to push when you pull this out to get this out and be able to take that bezel out you have to release that light switch and you do that by pushing that little button right back in there and you have to do it from the back side there's just enough room you can see where I took my grinder and I cut out some of this dash right here to be able to put that uh, 98 model instrument cluster in there and I did some cutting up in here too. I made videos. There's videos of that on YouTube Where I made all that so I'm fixing to take the instrument cluster out and I got the bottom panel off down there got the uh, Clutch pedal loose 
I gotta get all that out. I'll go from there. Okay, you got the instrument cluster out. Now you can see the button right there that you have to push to uh, get the uh, light switch out. You can also see the work I did with panel bond and screws to adapt the 98 cluster on that side. And then here's what this side looks like. That's a, that whole little section from the 98. I used panel bond, 3M panel bond to put that in. But here's the area where the switch is supposed to go. I mean, the, uh, where the clutch, hydraulic clutch. Okay, so I took the clip off the uh, rod that goes through the clutch pedal and I pushed back on the, the pin and I'm fixing to take a screwdriver and try to pry it out of there, prying in this area right in here. To see if I can get that out of there to get this clutch pedal out. See, I've got it part of the way out. I don't know if you can see that up in there or not. Where I'm prying at, right there, that pin. Right there. Out. So I'm gonna take, wiggle the clutch pedal with one hand, and I'm gonna pull on that right there with the other. I'm gonna pull that pin on out right there to get the clutch pedal out. Clutch pedal. Got these bushings that's wore completely out. Hat bushing is what I call that. I got me some shim stocks, some aluminum shim stock here. You might recognize, formerly as a Dr. Pepper can. And I'm gonna cut some thin slivers of this to shim that with, cause I don't have that bushing and I wanna try to get this thing back together. And it should last a long time like that. So I'm gonna try that and see how it goes. Okay, I'm working on getting the master cylinder ready to uh, put in the truck. Bolted it on with the two little Allen head bolts that came with. Get that ready, took the uh, brake, I mean the clutch pedal, and I put brass water nipple in there to uh, make a bushing out of. And I don't know whether it'll work or not. So to adapt their little adapter on, you have to drill a hole. If it don't already have the right size hole, you have to drill this hole out to uh, fit this little adapter they made. I got that done. And I'm fixing to start trying to go back in with the pedal in the car. Tight quarters in there. Don't know that I'll be able to video it as I try to do that. Okay, so I'm getting ready to put this master cylinder in. I had this bracket on backwards. This thing needed to go closer to the pedal. So I had to flip it around. Getting ready to put that in. Okay, I've got the got the uh, master cylinder installed. It bolts down on top of the two welded nuts that the steering column bolts into. And then you put, put the bracket on and then you put the uh, bolts on. I mean the nuts on. Okay, I got the uh, master cylinder installed. It sits down on top of the two nuts that are welded that the uh, steering column screws into. And then um, you put the bracket on, you put the two nuts down on top to hold it in that position right there. Ran the hose over and mounted the uh, reservoir in this area right here just to the side with a band clamp, just like he showed on the video that he, he made uh, for S&P Automotive. Filled it up, and then I uh, bled it out right there at that bleeder until I started getting the, all the air out. And then I bled the other end down on the transmission uh, to get the air out down there. Just did it a couple of times, but I had it open when I started filling it up, and I let it 
drain until the fluid started coming out solid down there on that end. I'm concerned about the alignment um, of the pedal when it pushes on the master cylinder. I'm concerned about how straight let's see where's that at? right there I'm concerned about how straight that is when it pushes right here I don't know how perfectly straight that's supposed to be it looks like that's rubbing on that hose too yeah that hose is moving when I do that that's not good I'll have to tie that up out of the way but I was just wondering about that master cylinder. When this thing goes to push, it looks like it's pushing down. See that? I'm just concerned about that. I don't know if that'll be okay or not. I guess we'll find out. And on this end, I just took the other one, the other actuator out for the cable and put that in, and it came with it. And then I hooked the line up and I loosened that bleeder right there and bled the air out and it works real well. The thing seems to work good. So I actually ran the hose, the braided hose that came with it. I ran it out the original, where the clutch cable came out, right down through there and had plenty of slack. But on the inside, I am uh, rubbing a little bit, so I'm gonna have to tie it up out of the way. I'm gonna go through some of this wiring that's dangling, hanging down right here and try to tidy it up some, put the dash back together. Just finishing up on the swap to the hydraulic clutch. Uh, so far, I think this is gonna be fantastic. Uh, so much difference and how easy it is. I've had surgery on my left knee twice and it's hard to push that uh, cable clutch. Of course it was binding, but uh, things left that I want to do to this, I had swapped to the 98 model windshield wiper motor. They go really fast, but they won't go in park. Gotta try to figure out what that is. And then this vacuum actuator over here on the outside, the vacuum actuator for, I guess, the vent, it doesn't work. I want to fix that. Uh, those are the two. Well, also, I bought uh, this heater control valve. Um, even though it's shut all the way off, it's still the center vents on the inside blow hot, and I can't get it to turn off. So I've bought the uh, complete bypass whatever valve that goes right there i'm going to replace that but those are the things i want to do i want to take for a ride in this thing just to show you how easy the uh, clutch operates do it in real time where you can see it's unbelievably good no more grinding Gears. It's nice and easy. I always start out in second. I don't even have a need for that first. Um, it just don't. It's so powerful. You don't even need the first gear, really. I don't. I never use that. Uh, I can't tell you. Uh, another thing I want to do, I wanted to get this uh, temperature gauge working in here. I haven't got that done yet. Try to concentrate on. The, try to concentrate just on the clutch so you can see it. Let me just turn to the right. Again. Everybody can just come to the left.
quick engine light that stays on all the time is the uh, coolant glow plug system. What it calls out. This thing really goes good. I, I'm so proud of this little truck. But uh, I'm calling that a success. I'm very proud of the way the hydraulic clutch works. It's so much easier. It's like driving my uh, 2001 Jetta or the 98 Jetta that the engine came out of. Thanks for tuning in.